Hello, my name is Judy Watson and I am a business management student at Southwest Georgia Technical College in Thomasville, Georgia. The topic of my presentation today is leadership. Viewers of this presentation will learn the definition of leadership, what a leader does, what characteristics a leader possesses. Viewers will also learn about three situational approaches to leadership, including Fidler's Contingency Theory, Path Goal Theory, and the Normative Decision Theory. Our textbook defines leadership as the process of influencing others to achieve group or organizational goals. Wikipedia defines it as a process of social influence in which one person can enlist the aid and support of others in the accomplishment of a common task. The key difference in a leader and a manager is that a leader is more concerned in doing what is necessary to accomplish a big picture goal and a manager is more focused on getting the goal accomplished efficiently. These are only a few things that a leader does. Associates daily activities with the big picture, is upfront and transparent with team members, desires to earn respect from team members, celebrates the accomplishment of, and takes responsibility for failure of team goals, connects with team members on a personal level, and is results oriented. <clears throat> a leader possesses many traits. A leader is decisive, results oriented, customer focused, visionary, strategically focused, and highly motivated. They are also inspiring, optimistic, supportive, confident, and has high integrity and communicates well. A leader is also proactive, adaptable, respectable, enthusiastic, open-minded, resourceful, rewarding, educated, evaluative, organized, consistent, and is a delegator. A few of the key differences between a manager and a leader are listed here. A leader looks at the big picture and sets goals accordingly. Then they issue challenges to the team, encourage them to take risk, and the leader inspires the team to be creative and proactive in their problem solving. A manager looks at a smaller picture and focuses on the day-to-day -day work of achieving goals set by leaders. Managers control the actions, resources, etc. for the team and stresses productivity and efficiency, and a manager may tend to limit the creativity and decision-making allowed by the team members. Fidler's Contingency Theory contends that a leader's effectiveness is dependent on the situation. A leader's effectiveness is evaluated on the performance of his or her team's success. A leader is unable to change his or her leadership style and must be matched to the appropriate situations to be effective. A leader's style of leadership is tied to his or her personality. Fidler used a least preferred coworker questionnaire to determine whether a person's leadership style is more people oriented or task oriented or whether they tend to function well in both scenarios. The path goal theory a leader contends that a leader's effectiveness is dependent on his or her ability to set clear goals for his or her team, remove obstacles or barriers that would prevent them from achieving the goals, and then reward team members for their achievements. The leader can and I'm sorry, the leader can and should change his or her leadership style depending on their environment and subordinates. There are four styles of leadership associated with this theory. Directive leadership does what the name suggests. The leader sets a goal and then directs the team on what to do, how to do it, when to have it done, etc. Support leadership is more people oriented. The leader treats his or her team as equal and lets them know he or she is there for them. Participative leadership takes a supportive leadership to the next level and invites the team to give input before a decision is made. Achievement-oriented leadership sets goals and encourages the team to step up and take responsibility for making it happen. Normative decision theory helps leaders decide how much input the team has in decision making. There are five different levels between the leader making all the decisions and the opposite end of the spectrum which allows team members to have more input in the decision making. <coughs> 
In my personal opinion, leadership is more about building relationships and encouraging people and challenging them to perform their best. No matter what role we play in life, we are always influencing others in some way. I believe that to be better leaders, we need to continually improve on our relationship skills. I will close with a few quotes from John Maxwell, who is my favorite authority on leadership. He says, Leadership is not about titles, positions, or flowcharts. It is about one life influencing another. He also says, People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. A third quote is the pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The leader adjusts the sails. Lastly, he says it is true that charisma can make a person stand out for a moment, but character sets a person apart for a lifetime. And here are my resources for this presentation. Thank you for watching.